So, uh, last run of the day. This is Slow Rider X Core and Burning Cookies and some other folks who have created a mod called Insurrection Plus. And the last ship we played was called the Crimson Lady A. Uh, which I think is the last list here, right? Falco, Minuteman, Guy just ACP, Crimson Lady. Shogun is the next one on our list. Interesting. Shogun. Apparently there was an update to this recently. I just downloaded the update today. This is a crazy looking ship. Holy shnikes. I wonder who designed that ship model. Hayabusa Cruiser. Built by humans, unaffiliated with any of the other powers. What this massive cru cruiser lacks in elegance and makes up for with sheer presence. Yes. A more elegant weapon for a more civilized age. This is not. Refined reactor. An upgrade to the ship's reactor that enhances the efficiency of its power delivery. 60% chance to resist the effects of ion damage. Halves the time taken to recharge emergency power. Uh, if anyone remembers this ship from a long time ago, you get a cookie. Okay. We have a chain ion. Chain ion blaster. Three power. Uh, eight seconds. It starts at one damage. Is this upgraded at all from vanilla? I don't know if it is. I can't tell if it's faster or what. Uh, three humans and an NG. Beam drone for two power, fire, fire beam drone for two power. Interesting. Oh, it gets faster instead of doing more damage per ion. Okay, so that is different. Okay. Okay, caps at three seconds, which Ion Blast Mark II caps at four seconds, I think. All right. Um, yeah, engine weapons is fine. We have a backup battery. So this whole refined reactor, efficiency of its power delivery. So it just means its backup battery comes back on faster. That's all that means, right? I think that's all that means. Rand has never read Chine Ion in vanilla, so he doesn't know what it does. <laughs> uh, I would disagree with you, but uh, you're probably not far off, to be honest. Of course, he dodges my first volley. Why the F wouldn't he? Watch me dodge ne neither of his first shots. God, this guy has four weapon power at first jump sector one. Okay, we actually did dodge a bunch of shit. That's really good. Okay, pilot's bold. That's good. Special ability. Oh my god. Come on, beam drone. Oh, this is a beam off this is a drone offensive ship. I am gonna try to change this offense as soon as humanly possible. I saw an early store. I hate I hate ion plus drones. I really do. Unaimable offense is just the worst. Uh, were fire beam drones always two power? Uh, in vanilla, I think they're three. This is the original ship mod for this ship. What is it? Called the Hayabusa class battle cruiser from Brother Shogo. Cool. Well, shout out to Brother Shogo. I will give them credit for the ship design on the YouTube video. Two power and I can get both drones online. Actually, I could do that right now. I just need a ship not running away with a freaking heavy laser to start. But that uses two drone parts, and uh, we do have drone recovery arm, don't we? By default. Shot dodged every effing time. I didn't move my guy back, by the way. Hmm. 
No dodges for me, man. No dodges for me. SMPK by default give you drone recovery arm. Yes, yes, it does. Let's see, do I get our drone part back? Yes, we do. Okay. So there is that. Can do the repair training. There is that. Backup battery. Yeah, I know, I know. Try to remember to use it. But just like in vanilla, I'm probably not going to go crew kills on a fight that's not safe. And they have a fucking missile, so it's not a safe fight. So I don't, you know, don't actually try to crew kill them. And I can't choose where the beam combat drone hits, so I can't choose to get their missile offline. So again, offensive drone ship's not my favorite. Trying to see how greedy I go. Let's get the shield value. Yeah, the ship looks really cool. Really cool design. I like it. I hate this game. Okay, now I can turn combat drone and maybe actually crew kill here. Zero fucking dodges. Thanks, FTL. Let's go see if we'll actually crew kill. Watch his ship burn down before we crew kill anyway. Oh, he's got a rock crew. Alright, maybe, maybe, maybe it'll eventually crew kill. It's gonna have to be an O2 crew kill that takes a year. I guess I could speed up time. Oh, he's about to die now. Okay. Is there anything unethical about using speed hack? Um, I don't know about ethical, but I would just be, you know, taking a chance FTL would crash on me again. But uh, there is actually a bit of a speed up in this mod built in if I remember to use it. One, two, three. I mean, it's viewership day. I kind of do whatever I want, so don't really care that much about ethicality of choices I make. It's more about just trying to min-max it so I take as little damage as possible as usually, you know. Good dodge, good dodge. All right. What kind of ship? What kind of crew? A rock crew. I'm not going to try to fire beam down rock crew. I just, I don't want to take the, the time. Too boring. Too boring to fire beam down rock crew. It's weird that in SMP, or in Insurrection Plus, it feels like there's all non-human crew all the time in Sector 1. Maybe we just fight more pirates in Sector 1 than vanilla? I don't quite know why it seems like I fight lots of rock and NG crew in Sector 1 in this mod all the time. I think there's just more pirate enemy ships in this mod. Rebel Invader. Yeah. Why is... Why is a rebel ship have zero humans on it? I don't know. I don't know why. There's only NG, Rock, and Zeltan crew on a rebel. I guess it's a pirate ship? Even though it says Rebel Invader? I don't know. I guess pirates took over a rebel ship or something. 
Don't know the lore behind every ship. You were laughing hard on YouTube the other day with the elated response to slavers. Okay, nice. Pirates have taken over every ship this sector. I guess so. I guess that's the lore. I don't know. Alright. Uh, Valifor Blast Beam. Four power beam. Well, it's like a Glade Beam. Can't afford it. Um, this is basically an Artemis missile, but I only have two uh, four missiles, so I can't be investing in that. Looks like no weapon changes here. Do I go with, like, my heavy combat drone for three power or something? Defense drone I'd like. How much do I care about this refined reactor? 2% chance to resist ion damage. If I sold both of those, they'd give me 40. I'd be at 56 scrap. Buy defense drone for missile defense. I think I like that better than keeping these. Missile defense is the most important thing. Yeah, drone recovery arm. Okay, what is that for power? It's me eight drone parts and 14 missiles? Okay, I'll take it. Uh, I wish I had more missiles to sell. All right, do we actually find any rebels in Sector 1? Yes, but they're only auto-hackers with no crew, so... Do I defense drone this? I guess I'll try. Whoa! He shoots a beam? What is this? That's new! Okay, that's pretty crazy cool right there. Did you did you do that to fix the whole uh defense drone failing to shoot down missiles bug? That is hit scan technology. Shot velocity 2147483648 Pixels a second. <laughs> uh, well, that is crazy. Uh, as much as I can, unfortunately, the dead zone at the front of the ship is still a pain. Okay. Well, that's really cool, actually. That's one of the coolest things I've seen. Um, with drone control that you've done. Does every type of defense drone do that now, or what? Okay, this is safe, so I can train here. So, let's train. I can train literally everything here, right? Yes, I should be able to. Alright, so let's see if speed hack works without crashing things. I mean, cheat engine. Looks like it's not crashing. Uh, the thing is that you tried to redesign the gun on defense drone to actually look like a beam, but the end result looked cursed as hell, so you just changed it back. You never understood why in Star Trek they never had data on weapons. <laughs> that not fail his calculations. Okay, well, weapons are already done. The beam on a defense drone and an actual beam are a very fast laser projectile. It looked like a beam to me, but... I don't know. They had a crew that can't miss, but they don't even use him. Yeah, right. Then they wouldn't have, you know, a reason to fail and to overcome things. So it's for, you know, drama reasons. Uh, piece of Lua tech that caused it to trigger a kill on the target whilst drawing a beam towards where the beam was shooting at. Now, does that mean it'll never fail? That'd be crazy if that's the case. Speed of light projectile, 2314, that's right. Uh, 
It's interesting because now you can see every time that the drone fires at something, that is not the target. Just hits empty space, but the target blows up anyway. <laughs> well, a defense drone that can't miss, I approve of. Although it sounds like it could still shoot a laser. A defense two drone could still shoot a laser instead of a missile and still fits you off, but at least it wouldn't miss the laser, I guess. Unless it fires too late or something, I don't know. Yeah, that what this guy's done. Am I gonna fully train everybody? Um, uh, maybe. Definitely want two people that can do piloting. So Wilson, are you gonna ever train or what? Like dodging nothing. Wait until an enemy beam drone begins to aim and kill your defense drones, huh? Defense drone targeting is still defense drone targeting, especially when a bunch of things come in at once, unfortunately. Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to call that good. Can I crew kill if I do this? I think we will be able to. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, crew kill by auto firing oxygen. That's right. That's right. Two flak ones, halberd build incoming. You predicted. Well, flaks are nerfed in this mod, and halberd beams are. I'm not sure if they exist. Are halberd beams changed in this mod. There's a bunch of different beams, and not. I'm not sure if halberd beam exists in this mod. To be honest. A bunch of different beam types. Oh god. I just jinxed it, huh? Alright. Well, it's fine. How I don't I don't this mod, for those who have not seen this mod before, uh there is a lot of things I do in this mod that I don't do in vanilla. Like, I stay the hell away from hacking in this mod. Because it almost made me quit this mod with how much hacking has been gutted. I, I think it might have, some of the nerfs might have been reverted some, but I just, I'm not touching it anymore. Because I just don't want to, I don't want to quit the mod. So I'm not touching the thing that made me almost want to quit the mod. Uh, and a lot of the weapons are different. Flax are more expensive and less accurate but there are some flax that are decent so it just depends uh, civilian or NG mm, forced reds down here forced neutrals up here I hate to say it, but I've kind of lost trust in any modder making changes to hacking. I just I just have kind of lost the faith in modders' decisions when it comes to hacking and making it balanced. But I also don't play as much modded as people who play like multiverse and stuff, so maybe there are some people who have done some good changes and I just need to give them a benefit of the doubt or something. All right, running away. We shouldn't actually get out, right? No, I think he must have three crew because there's a guy staying in piloting. Okay. okay. Um, store. Yeah, I'd like to change my offense. I really would like to change my offense. Lots should be a bunch of ion weapon choices. Uh, how greedy do I go? Get another jump. I'm gonna go one more jump. Tax labor scum. Good dodges. Uh, 
Alright, you guys can go heal. Although I don't need to, because after the fight they get the auto heal thingy. Uh, well, okay, he boarded me again. Why did he leave his own ship? Was his ship on fire? Weird. Alright, store what you got. Alright, well, there is a flak. So it's five more. And it's strike range, which I think is its uh, AoE is, I think, a little bit wider. Three power, 15 seconds for eight shots. Strike range, 80 pixels. So this is a smaller strike range. Does this use missiles? I think this might just be better than Flak. Three power for eight shots. This is just the two power for three. Does it do damage? Core damage chance. 50%. So it only has a 50% chance to do core damage. What a weird weapon. Oh, I don't know that I like the RNG of that. I wonder if I can just sell everything, get a flak and a pike, and get them both online. Uh, 47 plus 94 is 137 plus 4, 141. 70 plus 55 is 125. Would I be able to afford 35? I'm not sure. My math. The thing is overly complicated for its own good. You have no idea what you were smoking when you did it. Well, I'd, I'd try it, but I don't enjoy RNG in my offense. I'm going to buy both of these, even if I can't get them both online. Nah, it's not. I'm going to trust in Flak for a jump or two until I can get the bike beam online, I think. <laughs> you don't know what you're smoking when you made that up. Well, safe fight at least. Poking Zelt and Shield, gotta love it. It has two shots that are guaranteed to do damage, but the other six are coin flips. Coin flips, huh? Well, I guess my question, if I was going to use it, are are the la the question I would have is which shots? If it's the first two, that would be terrible because they'd hit the shields. If it's the last two, then maybe not terrible. Is it random which shots? It's simultaneous fire. Oh, okay, so they all come at the same time. All right. Um, mm -hmm. So it is random. What the? Are you effing kidding me? This one power ion by itself can get through my shields. Okay. Balanced. So balanced. Apparently if I dodge jack crap anyway, I can. Must have a Zoltan that ran through the cloaking there or something, yeah. Double NG. Why am I not seeing a single human on enemy ships? Why is it all NG, Zoltans, and Rock Crew on enemy ships? Because apparently there's nothing but pirates in this mod, I guess. Yeah. Rebels do not exist except for auto scouts. I think that Ion Blast drains two power being overclocked, though Slow Rider might need to correct me if you're wrong. It's just faster. So it's not more power. But I was right when I said, how is this one power Ion getting through two shields? I was correct about that. It is more power. Okay. Alright, maybe this guy will actually have humans. Okay. It's on. All right, can we crew kill him though? Um, Pike Bean doesn't have a fire chance, so I'm not probably even gonna try. Just get blasted, sir. Get blasted. Quest marker. Okay, we can get that. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, free engine hack, alright. I don't think I can crew kill anymore. Unless I'm willing to be patient with O2 crew kills. Yeah, just freaking NGs on every pirate ship. Are we in an NG sector? I think we're in a civilian sector. It's weird to me that there's so many NGs on these pirate ships. Apparently the NGs have taken over the pirate business. Or something. NGs have gone into pirating. Rebel Rigor. Man, I can't get over that defense drone just shoots a laser. That's crazy to me. Terrible deal. That's crazy to me. That's really cool. They're probably still susceptible to get, you know, like, shot down by random laser shots and stuff as well, but... The thing, this mod keeps making me go, okay, I'll just use drone control instead of hacking, because hacking, terrible, drone control, amazing. <laughs> that's that's what has been changed in this mod. Drone control is infinite drones. Hacking drone is you use five per fight to keep a weapon system down or something. It's crazy to me. How is Flak nerfed? Um, you see that AoE? That's usually not the size of a a flak one AOE. That's, I think, between a flak one and a flak two, and I think it's also it's five scrap more expensive and I think a second slower. So five scrap more expensive, a second slower, and a little less accurate. It's not nerfed into the ground like hacking. I keep talking about, and I don't know if hacking's been again reverted. I should probably stop talking crap about hacking, but it's not as poorly. Uh, as much nerfed. Uh, Flak used to be way worse than this. Also recently you've contemplated if you wanted to give it a 10% breach at baseline. Interesting. Um, do I think a breach baseline for Flak cannon would be too strong? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Flak's still premier, you know, shield... Um, reduction weapon, right? Might be interesting to see. Sounds strong. Her ambulance go out, fly outside or something. Hey, free repairs. Why can't it target the enemy attacking drone? Are you talking about our defense drone? Um, there, I think there will be a. A type of defense drone that can target enemy drones. I'm curious if those got turned into beams as well. I'll sell three. So we got drone recovery arm for drone control. Okay, safe fight. Do I care about any more training? Everybody's got at least two systems they're trained on, so I'm going to call that good. Go see if there's ever a crew kill here with a bunch of, I don't know, Mantis on the, the ship. No. Slug like cruiser with actually a bunch of slugs. Okay, nice double reward. I like that. Okay. Rebel or Rebel? Such choices. Much wow. Uh, did you make any change to drone reactor booster? Slow Rider says yes. Have we seen that in game? I don't remember if we've seen it or not. Alright, what do I want to do here? Um, we want cloaking and I think mind control since I'm not getting hacking. So, 
I'm close to being able to afford cloaking, so maybe I just save my scrap and see if we find cloaking. Oh my god, it's just a random ASB enemy. Okay. Random ASB. I hope there's a double reward to deal with a frickin' ASB. Oh man, this guy's got pretty good weapons too. Please don't die. That level 2 mind control. Oh, this could be bad. Can I dodge? Okay. Okay, hit my engines. It's fine. No double reward. Okay. Is the ASB? Okay, ASB's gone after the fight, at least. Okay, that's better than vanilla. Um... So, Drone Reactor Booster has a bit of Lua tech that makes it so that combat defense drones operate 20% faster. You have no idea if that has any tangible effect on defense drones, but combats do shoot faster. Interesting. Man, something's going on outside. Now I hear police siren going on. That deal. Two more nebulas will get me extra jump here. It's like the same ship almost. And heavy laser two and an ion. So instead of a what you call it? It's a what you call it? We have an ASB. It's a bunch of drones. Wow, Pike Beam can actually hit all five. I don't think you can do that in vanilla. It's crazy. Only level one engines, thankfully. I think Pike Beam has been buffed in this mod too. That, there's a fire somewhere. I think maybe it's over here somewhere. You fix that while I check. There it is. Uh, that's right here, okay. I feel like I'm still here in fires. No, okay, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Okay. Uh, rehabilitating the most useless item sounds fun. There's an... There is also technically... Okay, I guess this will be also. Technically, a bit of LUA that enables an interface that lets you directly... Direct combat drone attacks, but unfortunately it's not implemented at the moment because it has a massive conflict with anti-drone targeting on the heavy combat drone. Are you telling me we eventually might be able to aim our combat drones? That would be crazy. That would that would actually be insane. That would actually be insane. And make combat drone uh, drone offense actually be comparable to weapons. You hope to get to add that when it's uh, done, huh? All right, that would be pretty insane. Is Combat 2 drone buffed in this mod? I don't know. There are there are more than just there are more types of combat drones in this mod. Best drone is anger management drone though. True, true. All right, so we see we have two stores this sector. Okay. I don't know that I want to do a half power fight. Thing is that there's also tech to let you do that for artillery weapons, but that's in much less of an ideal state than you would like. Okay. Okay, safe fight. Well, unless this thing is the shield piercing ion. Not sure how that will work. Okay. Uh, buff stasis pod augment. Give the people what they want. <laughs> stasis pod buff. What would a buff stasis pod do? Give you multiple crystal crew? Give you a weapon with the crew? I mean... 
not have to get through two other very specific sectors for it to do anything? Okay. Bomb versus laser two. Okay. Uh, for artillery, it should be as easy as turn it on. There's no conflict of anything, just people's stubbornness. Okay. All right, well, we have a crap load of scrap for this store. So let's see what we can make happen. Cloaking and mind control would be ideal. Cloaking. First laser two. Clone bay. Laser anti-drone. This is the one that would kill the offensive drones uh, somebody was talking about. Okay, well, we 100% do this. I'm leaning towards this. This is a 30% breach chance while no fire chance. So I actually like that less than a vanilla one, but... I don't think I can afford that and the laser anti-drone. They should just implement targeting for artillery, is what you mean. Well, it sounds like that's what they're working on, and it's not in a good state yet. Hmm. I could just go laser anti-drone, long-range scanners, and fuel. We're, like, boss ready if I do this, I feel like. Much as I love me some long range scanners and a drone that could shoot down other drones. Getting boss ready seems very good. Thirty scrap for two fuel. Now that is a good deal. That is a good deal. My control, I don't have a counter to that yet. Double missile defense, cloaking and defense drone that cost me no drone parts. Beautiful. All right, so I do want some power. We are coming up on another store, though, that could have... Uh, I don't know. What, what do I want for a three-weapon slot ship that I'm not getting hacking on? I'm not sure, actually. We've been boarded. Oh, God. Well, are they going to go in the heel bay? They are, actually, so we're going to go fight them in the heel bay. Nice. Breach. That's what the burst laser breach does, though. It breaches. I kind of forgot that it had that ability. <laughs> kind of crazy that you can hear breaches on an enemy ship, but you can't hear fires on an enemy ship. You think that was purposeful? Like, without having sensors, I know when I've breached an enemy ship. So without, without having sensors, I don't know when I've started to fire on enemy ships. It's kind of a weird thing. I wonder why that choice was made. I wonder if that's made so that you can know when auto scouts are breached when you're in a nebula and can't use sensors. Because of into the breach gameplay, yeah, right? Um. All right, store. What you got? Zenith beam. Can't miss. Only strike a single room tile. Two power for three damage in one room. Mm, I don't like point beams that much. Assault lasers are pretty interesting, though. 
four power for seven shots. Uh, those are really nice with the pre-igniter, of course. But I think I just get mind control here. Yeah. Mind control and buy as much fuel as I can. My systems are done. Maybe the devs weren't thinking of balance and they just thought like how you would logically hear fires. How would you logically hear fires on another ship? Well, how would you logically hear anything through the vacuum of space? I mean, is there a telecom on? So we hear through their telecom that there's a breach? Then why wouldn't we hear a fire through their telecom? Like, I feel like answers like that don't make any more sense than, you know, why you hear the breach. Yeah, selective use of logic, you know? <laughs> it's, I'm no, you know, astrophysicist, but I'm pretty sure I understand that if you're in space, you can't hear anything from out in space because space is a vacuum and there's no medium to uh, transmit the sound waves for you to hear anything. So, this seems weird. Just seems weird that you can hear the breach but not the fire. But I'm sure the answer is video game reasons. Quarantine the virus. Oh god. Oh god. Shield hack event. Okay. That's a fire. Well, that spread before I could even vent the room. Thanks, FTL. Uh, how could I miss such an obvious reason? Because of swag sensors. Oh, yeah, obvious. Don't know why I didn't think of that. Mute the game for realistic experience. <laughs> uh, how, uh, let's see. Maybe if there's a quick soundless visual, it would fit better. Yeah, maybe so. I, I could believe that you'd see a breach uh, in a ship's hull. Free NG? Darn. All right, pirate. What's my next goal? Mm. Any uh, any weapon upgrade super expensive, so probably dodge and power, which I think I can do right now. All my scrap. I'm low on fuel. I mean, the I, I'm not saying I don't want the um, breach audio cue because it's a great audio cue. It's always really a positive thing when it happens. But it, I don't know, logic, logic in video games. Why do I try to play it? I don't even know. Why do I even try? Logic in video games, not even once, is what I mean to say. Uh, can I crew kill this? Are they... Four crew... They'll double Zort Zoltan board me. I do this. Go for the crew kill here by patiently... Not attacking. Okay, kill this guy off. Okay, 
be one more shot to Kukil. Got repairing in here. Nice. Beautiful. Hey! Uh, okay, so I have an NG. I have three humans. Let's get Rock for more blue options. Beautiful. I like how you change it to ask, not force. Which would make us as bad as the slavers. Alright, and you have uh, engine training. Do I want to put you on engines? We have the human. I lose a little bit of dodge for a bit. I'm going to put the... Put their rock on doors. Um, uh, we need to replace breach sound with another past rand quote. <laughs> Imagine if my controlled Zultan dealt death damage to their crewmates. Imagine, I can only imagine. While coal plating is an amazing augment to sell for forty scrap. I agree. I agree to sell. Uh, that is a glaive beam. That is a glaive beam. I need to buy time. Put this. Can't my control the pilot, man. Where as I go, slug pilot. Getting playing like a player there. Alright, that, that beam was just about to fire right as that shot went off. Just in time. Okay, civilian so ship. Free repair? Okay, that's the second free repair I've gotten this run. I like free repairs. I'm just gonna get one more power. I can have all my systems online without having to back up battery. Safer store. Hmm. Why are my sensors not working? Because this is a stupid bullshit event where. Oh, by the way, your sensors are broken until you fixed it. Thanks. Thanks, FTL. By the way. Because video game reasons, that's why. Oh, they must have Zoltan Shield Bypass. Oh, they must have just broke your sensors because of lol. Because of lol. That's why. Lol, no sensors for you. That's why. The ship has zero dodge. Uh, when there's no man piloting, this is true. Now we have 25%. Or 35 if I actually put all my power there. That's really cool, the whole different ship design on the sector map as well. That's a really cool thing that Interaction Plus and Slow Rider has done here. Oh man, this guy's weapons. Oh man. Got like three shots before a single shot that I can fire. It's crazy. That thing's got to be a four power weapon or some shit to get that many shots off that quickly. The overclocked ion blast mark two. It is four power, yeah. Crazy. Ridiculously fast. Okay, I guess what I'm hoping for is a one power weapon to bridge us to uh, another two power weapon. I really need to get third shield, I feel like, or cloak two or something. My slightly slower weapons are meaning I'm never getting a volley off before my enemies volley, it feels like. A four shot laser. So many overclocked weapons on these guys. Nice breach. Do, 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 do. 
six fuel. Yeah, I hate to take it, but I need to take six fuel. I am low on fuel, so I will take it. One nebula jump does not give me an extra jump. Okay, that is a big giant missile. Wait, that looked like it shot a projectile. Oh, okay. No, I guess there's a beam and I just didn't notice. Double, double, breach, breach, meal, meal, deal, deal. I will say it just it looks cool. It looks it looks like a point defense drone from like another game. Um what's that, like Cosmeteer, I think, had point defense drones on your ship that shot little red laser beams to shoot down projectiles, I think. Which it reminds me of it's really cool. Yeah, very satisfying. It, it just it just looks really neat to me. Uh that's over a high yield bomb, I think it's called. Alright, uh, thanks for having a stupid Zoltan as your pilot, though. I appreciate that. Dumbness. Why would he speed up? Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's a high-yield smoke bomb. Okay, that's... That doesn't do anything. Oh, it does actual damage, apparently. That's a crazy animation. That looks like something from Into the Breach, actually. Did you did you design the the smoke animation, or is that from something? Because that's crazy looking. I think this ship should be bigger. I think you forgot a kappa. That really hates my shields, by the way. Really wants my shields to be smoky. On top of old smoke, all covered with smoke. You had to take the end of the breach smoke animation and shrink it to fit a 35 by 35 tile space. Okay, so it is the end of the breach thing. That's crazy. Okay. Crazy, crazy sauce. I think I'm just going to save you on sensors. Although, excessively manning doors is a good thing to do. What's up, by the way, Zach Dog? Hope your Monday's going well. Oh, no case of the Mondays. Oh, God, that's four shots, isn't it? Okay, good. We dodged one volley of those four shots. Oh, took one damage there. Doo -doo 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 store. That's what I was looking for. There's a heavy laser one. Pulse laser two. Three power for four shots. In 15 seconds. Laser two is pretty slow. Mm, what else we got here? Defense one. Invisible means it can't get shot down randomly by shots, I think. I'm gonna get clone bay. I wanna get third shield. I think I'm just gonna buy the heavy laser. I can get that online right now. Pulse laser 2 is not bad. Feels a little too expensive to get online though. Alright, let's go power, and then maybe work towards third shield now that we got another weapon upgrade. The funny augment that's on the Type C of last week's ship. I went last a type C of last week's ship. What was it? I don't remember the funny augment. It's too late. Oh, it's not too late. Never too late. Sometimes it's probably too late. 
I love that. I love that beam projectile. I love it. Got these backwards. I really do like that beam projectile for the defense drone. That's super cool. Called priority ham hard point. Exclusively boost the cooldown of the weapon in slot one and stack with other boost augments. Okay. Um, if I want to crew kill, I have to be this guy. This. Well. Uh, uh, just kill him. Too much hole damage. Mantis or Zoltan? Well, I do have mind control to deal with the border police. Um. Um. Hmm. Chance of Zoltan shield, I guess. Sector 5. But what is it? The Natural Mineral Protection Act event. Ah, both of these are scary boarding. Um, I don't have long range scanners, do I? No. Excuse me. Um. Zoltan here. I'm gonna go with Zoltan. I hope I don't die to Zoltan BS. We'll probably die to Zoltan BS, to be honest. Okay. Uh... Why am I not countering the mind control? I don't know. Ah, shot down the missile with my with my lasers. You're wrecked. Forgot to save you there. Okay. Beautiful. In the words of Past Rand, would I rather get boarded by Mantis or boarded by Mantis? True. True. Which sector? In which sector would I like to get boarded by Mantis? A Zoltan sector or a Mantis sector? So many choices. Okay, well they're never, uh... Quest is never a distress beacon. Do I want to store with 80 strap? Might be some useful augments. Uh, there is the augment that lets me... It's long range scanners plus something else. The advanced FTL navigation 2 or something like that. Delayed beam, hellfire missile, three power four shots. I remember being something like this that I would use. Maybe it was this that I would use way back when. Open duplicator, advanced FTL navigation. This lets me see the entire map in every sector. I like that a lot. Advanced defense drone, three power. So it shoots faster. Bone Bay. Let's get this. That in this mod is really good. It's a long range scanner and an entire, well, better long range scanners because lets you see the entire sector from the first jump. And we can still do the advanced FTL navigation after jumping back to a jump anywhere, so that's really good. Alright, I want to work towards third shield now. Hey, hear them out. All right. We have a chance for, uh... Envoy, yeah, that's the ticket. That's the ticket. I totally want Envoy. Okay, rock, missile. Beautiful. 
Man, friggin' defense drone is so good now. It has not failed to shoot down a single missile with laser pinpoint accuracy. Laser pinpoint accuracy. Alright, how many jumps do we have? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hmm, I can't actually can't actually get all my jumps unless I do a backwards jumping. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh Three, two, one. Oh, wait, there is a way to do this. You have to go in a really strange order. Okay. Uh, intercept the unidentified ship. Mm, we failed, even with a blue option, strangely. Okay. Maybe that was a very scary ship, but I'm glad I didn't intercept. That is a green laser. That corrosive, is that what you said? Uh, slow rider, it's like a corrosive thing, so it's like a damage over time, kind of like what we had in an earlier ship today. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's go for the crew kill if we can. Desultants killing each other. Good time had by all. <laughs> Deleted. Get blasted. Still need to think of a base form weapon that uses corrosion damage that isn't the acid bomb. Okay. I guess that means, like, because there are base ion weapons for ion versions and base fire bombs that are fire versions, that kind of thing. Interesting. Okay. Rock blue option. Tactical scanner. Advanced sensor upgrade that enables the user to visualize the location of all hostile crew members even when short range sensors are disabled. It tracks the target of incoming enemy attacks. It also tracks the target of incoming enemy attacks, as well as enemy evasion and resource counts. Does that let me see? Holy crap. That lets me see what which of my systems is being targeted? That looks like a chance to lose crew, and I don't have clone bay. I don't recognize that event, so I don't do it. The level three enemy stats thing. If I can see where the shots are coming in, is am I understanding that correctly? Because that's pretty crazy if that's how that works. Yeah, oh, that's crazy. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's worth an augment slot, but it's pretty darn cool. The level 3 enemy stats thing. It lets me see the evasion and stuff. It lets me see how many missiles and drone parts they have. That is also crazy. Wow, that is cool. Hmm. Do I think that's worth an augment slot? I mean, I gotta consider what it would do for me versus the boss. The boss doesn't have any missile things to keep track of. Evasion count. Seeing what things, where things are... Seeing where the three missiles are aimed for might actually be worth an augment slot. You both are not life force scanners. The augment basically had more augment added. Augment with extra augment on it. Approximation of our ideals about war. True progress can only achieve that. Blah, blah, blah. And... The Blade of Justice. That is not what I was hoping for. Uh, but I think that's a very good beam. Oh, that's fire chance on a lance beam. Which lance beam, I think, is between pike and halberd. Two power, one damage. Not as long as a pike that has a fire chance. That's actually quite good. Um... I want to get that online, but let's get shields first, and we'll work towards that next. 
remember. I feel like I remember using that weapon in previous runs. Kills for 50 if you don't need it. Well, that. Hmm. I need to think about if I want to use it actually, because if I swap out flak. Ah, uh, getting through the boss shield is hard. Without hacking. But I'm purposely not using hacking so I don't get all mad at hacking being nerfed. And getting through shields without a flak will be difficult, so. I feel like I want another weapon with a lot of projectiles. Over the heavy laser or the thing we just got. So another burst laser or black or heavy laser or something. Honestly, that um, Gatling or... I've seen a bunch of different weapons this run. One thing I do like about your mod is every store has weapons. I do like that. For your friends. At least don't have the issue of not being able to find weapons in this mod. Probably should have put that in there as a firebomb, but oh well. Man, this burst laser is just so slow, though, man. I really wish I could change this from the breach version. Just so slow. Level 3 heal day. Of course they do. Now, oh, and it will not stay down either. I don't think I could kill him now. Double Mantis repair is <laughs> apparently too good. Uh, fun fact about the enemy attack telegraphing tech. Initially, it had an awkward interaction with Flax where every projectile, including the ones that did nothing, would show their hit points. Projectiles have hit points? Or does that mean point of impact on the ship? Like a reactor upgrade that doesn't cost me scrap. Forced rock, huh? The red circle things, okay. So the ones that did nothing would show where they landed. Well, doesn't that, doesn't it do that in vanilla? Or does only three, no, it only shows three projectiles, doesn't it? Three stores, one at a dead end, okay. Uh, rock live mine protection. I'll spend two scrap on engines for that. That's that smoke bomb, I think, so I don't think I care about cloaking that. Oh, it's a stun bomb, never mind. Really don't care about it. <laughs> stun bomb, actually. Okay, kill this guy if those hit. Nice. Black one would fire, and suddenly you got like six plus markers on your side of the screen, and it would freak you out. Yeah. That would be freaky. It's like, why is Flak 1 have six projectiles? Why doesn't my Flak 1 have six projectiles? The answer is, it does. You just don't see them all because half of them are fake. Do I care about four fuel? Kinda, but I want scrap more. Hope we get three fuel. One fuel and wow, that was a terrible, terrible reward. Alright. That protects me from rock live mine. I do have that lance beam to swap into if I want to. A free igniter for ten missiles. It's a good deal. That is a good deal. Uh, why can't I get that in my vanilla runs? 
A pre-igniter for 10 frickin' missiles. How's that for a deal, man? Best deal I've ever seen. I'll buy that for a dollar. Look at how skilled I am to get that random deal. All skill chat. That's like a flak three right there, I think. It's crazy. The art of the deal, yes. Man, I'm still unsure if I want to keep this tactical thing that shows where the shots are coming, but that's really cool. Really cool to see this incoming shot location. Well, I guess we'll have to see how much it sells for. If it sells for a lot, I'll probably sell it, but if it doesn't, I might just hold on to it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Quite all. What's up, Arbiter Dan? Happy Monday to you. Yeah, come join my crew, Charlie. Glad to have you. I want to reach out and grab you. Command should be really useful on hard mode runs with pause. Yeah, to see where things are going to land. Teleporter plus pre-boarding plus clone bang. I don't love it. Oh, I should have opened that door. Uh, that's fine. It's the fence wall. More weapons. I think I'll take the six fuel. I don't want six fuel, but oh, it only does that for your pair once. Um, but I don't want to deal with him, and I want to... I want something um, not to run out of fuel in sector seven or something. Happy to cast a stream. Glad to have you. Uh, I already said that, didn't I? Glad to have you. Electron beam. I used to use this a lot. I think this got nerfed, didn't What's the Avenger rotary laser? Derivative Vulcan. Three lasers per attack. Greater, greater utility comes at a cost of sustained output. Four power. Three shots for volley. Seconds. I have a pre-igniter. Combination of laser blaster and Vulcan laser. Peculiar but terrifying combination of auto and burst lasers that could prove highly effective in the hands of experienced captains. Um, have I ever listened to a Yeet song? I don't. I don't think I have. I think I want to try this thing out. Um, let me sell this. How much power is that? It's four, and I have. So I wouldn't want to get one more weapon online with this right now. Because pre-igniting this seems really good. So I could pre-ignite that plus the flak or the or the burst laser. Eventually get these as my eight power weapon system. New weapon. I am quite interested to see how this works. I kinda wanna okay, this sells for not that much. But I also kinda wanna sell it because I don't like having my augment. Full. Augment slots full. I don't know if this pre-ignited is going to be good. So we're going to test this weapon out. Does Sven maneuver work here? Uh, actually, yeah, it should. It absolutely should, I think. Interesting. Interesting. Do I like that? So it'll fire three lasers... And it gets faster and faster. Interesting, interesting, interesting. That's a weird combo of weapons, but I think it might be good. 
Yeah, it can keep weapons down by itself, or keep shields down by itself. Okay, I think it's good. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird, but I think good. Uh, is there a crew kill here? Get Clone Bay, maybe. Ah! Calculated. Uh, seems weird to time with other weapons, but OP otherwise, yeah. Yeah, it is, it, the timing's gonna be interesting. But it looks like it's gonna be really strong. That's a Zeus missile. That's a crazy weapon right there. Okay, it's gonna auto fire. We're basically safe if I turn on my defense drone. So I'll turn it on if this missile ever fires. It's looking more and more like it will fire. Okay. This missile is compensating for something, by the way. Uh, compared to a Vulcan, its sustained output is a laser every 1.3 compared to 1.1 seconds. So slightly, slightly less sustained output, but with other weapons, it's probably going to be similar in function, keeping lasers down, keeping shields down, I should say. Alright, so it's going to take me 190 to get my flak online. I'm going to need power for it as well, so that's my goal. Okay, I paint my ship with you. Two ions, two charred lasers. Kill your friends. Pop, 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 pop. I think what I want to do then is not auto fire. I think I want to fire with burst laser for the first couple volleys and then auto fire once it's fully charged. That's what I want to do here. Wow, this guy has no heal or clone bay, huh? Alright, this should be a crew kill then. He should board a second. Well, I killed his NG, who's trying to repair the weapons. Will he board a second time? Okay, he will, and I should kill this guy. Let him repair weapons once, then mind control, and that should be the crew kill. Okay, a little more damage I was planning to do there. Got him. Got him. Okay, 128 scrap. Weapon and power. Okay, nice free stuff. Ex the, ex the exit beacon. Love that. Rebel stronghold or pirate stronghold? Which stronghold do I want to go to? <laughs> well, I don't know what the pirate stronghold is, and I do know what rebel... Well, I maybe vaguely remember what the fight is here. I'd rather go rebel, though, because I know what I'm looking for at empty jumps. I know what look around looks like. It's empty jump, which is one of three dead-end jumps over here. Should be doable. Oh, it could be one of these over here, actually. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven. Oh my god, what a stupid layout. If any of these three are the under construction flagship. Oh my god, this is so dumb. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's no way I can make it there and back. I can't make it to one and back, can I? No. Okay, I've just I have to hope it's one of these two. What a dumb effing layout this is. It's 
well. This is so dumb. This could have been an amazing layout if there was like one connection here. This could have been an insanely good Sector 7. It's a claw sector layout. Yeah, it's a claw. And I don't have hacking, and I don't have a way to get through four shields consistently here. This guy probably gets out. Come oh, on, no dodges, please. Oh, he's just gonna keep blocking with his fucking face because the timing is shit. Of course he fucking hits my piloting and then gets two fucking shots through. Fuck you, FTL. Zero fucking dodges for me, all the fucking dodges for you. Come on, man. Just enough for him to get out. Okay. No. Okay, okay, you can't get out now. Now I just need to stop taking a shit ton of damage. This is a double fucking shot drone. Jesus Christ. My cloaking is broken, too. Holy shit, this fight, by the way. Double Burst Laser 3s with a two-shot combat drone. What an insane build this guy had. Okay, well, at least we stopped him from running. Get wrecked. Jesus. Okay, uh... 25 more scrap and I can get my full weapon system up. Yeah, he maxed out. No kidding. What am I firing at? Cloaking, I guess? Nice. Nice. Yay for beam drone. Beam defense drone. That's what I want to call this thing now. Yeah, the auto fire is terrible. Until it's fully spun up, then it's probably decent. So I need to not auto fire until the Avenger is fully spun up. Fully spun up. Avenger. Cool name for a weapon. Even though we got a store coming up, I just want this. I need I need more projectiles. I just need the projectiles. Oh, I forgot to heal. Okay. Hacking. Too late for this, aren't I? Nice! Uh, deleting ha enemy hacking drones? That's probably my happiest thing about what this can do. After your hacking drones and you have to use them up over and over again. After them. He's out of drone parts. Beautiful. So many auto scouts. Well, it is a, uh, Rebel Sector. Rebel Auto Scouts is a thing. I'm gonna cloak, but I didn't need to. Sucks for them even more that if they get through, they get only one hacking pulse. I know. I know. Get wrecked by the hacking nerfs, nerd. Get wrecked by hacking nerfs. Alright, free boarding. To your friends. I, I forgot to heal twice in a row now. Okay. Wow, free boarding with bonus effing boarders. F U F T L. Oh, uh, wait, why is he just running through? Okay. Wait, why did his health go down? This hacking, did he just hack my piloting and that did damage to my, the guy in the room? Is that another hacking change? Oh my god, I, do, I don't even know what hacking does anymore, man, I swear. I don't even know what it effing does anymore. Hack has now been giving damage over time effects. 
Okay. I don't even know what freaking systems do anymore, I swear. It's so confusing. Did one of my crew just die? It's not doing the full repair thing because I have a breach on my ship. You're Jim trying to find things to give hacking back. Or at least new things it can do. Okay. Right, I'm, I'm just not going to comment because I know if I comment I'll say something negative. So, <laughs> okay. Weird. Really weird. Okay. Every week hacking has something new. I know. It's why I'm not I it's why I refuse to use it in this mod because I just I don't It's like multiverse having 8000 things and I don't know what they do because I can never learn the 8000 things cuz I don't play exclusively multiverse. It's just it's always different. Um It's four power for seven shots. Compared to four power for six shots here. Hmm. The dot damage is equal to choke damage, 6.4 HP a second. Per pulse, I guess, huh? For the pulse. Um. be pre-ignited. Actually is more shots and I could do whatchamacallit strats. The Sven maneuver. Um, but I kind of just want to get my upgrades. I need a lot of upgrades. I don't have an anti-drone drone, unfortunately. I think I'm gonna do nothing here so I can just get power to get my <sighs> Shiznit online. He had to remove the crew damage from the brute force hacking augment to stop it from totaling 94 HP and one max pulse. Okay. Like, what is this? Elite deflector drone. Special shield drone charges. In response to incoming projectile attacks, this model has been heavily upgraded, enhancing its performance. Charges in response to incoming projectiles. So it's a shield drone that charges faster, I think? Well, I mean, I can't afford it, so I can't... Oh, here's that brute force hacking you're talking about. Causes hacking drones to trigger an explosion when finishing a pulse attack, inflicting physical damage to the hack system. Increased power in hacking results in more powerful explosions. Pulse canceled by a loss of power will not trigger explosion. Yeah. yeah. Probably something I'll never use unless there's a ship that's forced to use hacking, I guess. Defense 2, except instead of shooting lasers, it generates one pound point of super shield, huh? Again, four power seven shots. So many of these four power seven shots. I would like to get that, but scrap. Because I am just living in this scrapless sector right now. Does this look around? No. Wow, it actually added this quest to sector eight. Okay. I uh, figured out how to set up hyperspace so it can do that. Uh, defense drone doing a super shield. Okay, interesting. 
Was that a mod exclusive quest? Yes. As far as I know. I don't know if it's in any other mods. It's definitely not a vanilla, vanilla quest, though. Again, as far as I know. Okay, manly search. True loss of 20%. Nice. Beautiful. I had three humans that I could gamble on, so that's why I took that chance. You just watch mostly vanilla runs from me? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I get the most viewership on is, you know, my Harbo No Pause runs, so. Yeah, that that event does not normally happen in vanilla FTL as far as I know. And quests cannot spawn in Sector 8 in vanilla. That's another, you know, kind of big, big thing. Unlock the Hayabusa Type B. All right. Spectrum Beam. This is the one that can change it to different types. Oh, and Halberd Beam is here. Okay. Um, can I elitize the Avenger? Yes, I can. Do I want to elitize it? I want to tactical it, actually, because tactical just makes it faster, right? I forgot about this mechanic. Uh, calm. No, no, that's not what I want. Yeah, I can tactical this, which just makes it overall better, right? Albert's 80, yeah. Price been nerfed, I guess. That's just a straight up upgrade. Yeah, I want to do that to both that and the flak. Can I be upgrading my weapons when I have value points to get in power? Yeah, I think it's okay. Quest is next to the base, so I wonder if it'll survive. Alright, this is a not enough time event. Um, let's see here. Can I actually crew kill with double defensive or repair drones? Four crew and a clone bay. Seems unlikely, but we'll try. And I swear this guy's got less health than normal, too. This defense drone can't shoot down a cloaked missile, I don't think. his drone parts though yeah unfortunately for me that doesn't matter <laughs> one fight he's allowed to waste his drone parts when he only has to do one fight I feel like there's something else I want to do I want that value point I need power oh yes I want to elitize or tacticalize the flak cannon can I do a thermal to a flak no No thermal flat cannons exist in this universe, I guess. Even missiles have cloaks nowadays, huh? Yeah. At least in this mod, they do. Here, your friends. Sends hack. Oh, dang it. Sends hack. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I'll get him next time. Oh, this guy has the same weapon I do. Got the attack, uh, the Avenger. Avengers assemble! Or something. Uh, okay, I think I can crew kill this if I'm just patient and smart. So we let him repair once. 
and mind control, pull them both into room, and hopefully dot 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 drop it. True kill. Oh, he does have a heal bay. We need to get them low and shoot them down right as mind control is about to wear off. So close. Okay. One crew, six health. We can still probably do this. I'll just kill the heal bay. Okay. I'm trying to do as little damage as possible while killing that. Okay, good. Now we finish him off in here. Got him! Ion Blast Mark II and bonus reward. Like a triple quadruple reward. Triple quadruple quintuple reward. I don't care about that though. Do I care about that with the Avenger and Ion? Meh. 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 I don't think so. You'll get the quest, I guess. I, since I don't have a key, I don't think getting to the boss base before the boss is needed. Because the store is the ent entry beacon, not a base store. Was it in this mod that the boss getting to the base before the boss gave you a store? Or was that a different mod? I can't remember. Too many different mods. Marginally faster than in vanilla. You've never been a big fan of the ion plus spinny guns. Yeah. Oh, we got a rebel gunboat, huh? Kind of impressive. Turns out missiles aren't OP enough and defense drones aren't crap enough that they had to add cloaked missiles. <laughs> yes. I guess so. Quadruple fire, okay. This ship is a crime against OCD because it's not symmetrical, huh? Yeah, true, true. <laughs> I think I'm going to do too much whole damage and not actually crew kill it. Nice. Alright, how much health do you have? Uh, more than 30, so I need a fire to do damage to you before I can actually crew kill. So, if he runs through the heal, uh, the f this to the heal bay, I might be able to get him if I can time this right. Uh, I wish I could control him though. Mm -hmm. Screw it. Don't care. Don't care. It used to have an insurrection that the base was a store, but this is no longer the case with the store being moved to the sector entry instead. Okay. Sick color scheme on that ship, though. Level 3 doors are crazy. Yeah. Stealth approach to the base. Secure the information. Storage key alpha. Okay, so we get a storage key to get into the base before the boss is actually useful now. <laughs> Weird that I that can happen in Sector 8 now. But it worked. Beautiful. Alpha sadly doesn't help us. Well, at least it's free stuff. And I love all, all free stuff equally. Okay, maybe not all stuff free stuff equally, but... I love free stuff. Love me some free stuff. No, 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 no. Crap. I have to go here, go away, and come back after phase one to actually get the little. Crap. Okay, what value points do I value the most? Backup battery is way cheaper, so is the sensors. So are sensors. Uh, but if I did none of those, oh, I can't get shield value. All right, let's go with those three value points. Okay, we're going to have to leave and come back to get the alpha key reward, whatever it is. Okay. Can we shoot down every defense drone? Or every hacking drone? That would be amazing. Okay, what do I want to take out? Cloak them to start, I think. Okay. 
No repairs allowed. Cloak the missile. Again, crew killing phase one on this mod is like impossible with clone bay and so many crew and level three cloaking or whatever the hell they got. Defense drone is spinning in the air now for some reason. I don't even know what to aim at here. Missile. Okay, not the worst. No repairs allowed. Oh, this is a big volley, isn't it? Okay, cloak it. I need this guy's crap down. Hoping he's gonna come back up. Okay, at least our dodges are decent. Tanking decently well. Not great dodges, though. And I'm not sure I'm, I'm loving this Avenger, to be honest. It's not feeling super consistent to keep shields down. Okay, all right. Well, we only took five damage, so not terrible. All right, let's get the extra jump and come back so we can hopefully get whatever this key is going to give us. Not all free stuff, friends and humans. Is the Avenger a flak? No, the Avenger is a weird... Um... Vulcan. That's the way I would describe the Avenger. A weird Vulcan. Like a burst laser to Vulcan. Triple shot Vulcan that doesn't fire quite as fast at full charge. Which sounds amazing, and maybe it is, but I probably need to not auto fire it to make it have its full potential, I'm thinking. Right, what is trip what does key alpha do here? Ammunition uplink. So that's an explosive replicator, huh? Okay. Alright, it should be better phase two and three with no cloaking though. Cloaking is the you know counter to Vulcan, so now that we're not getting cloaked on. Let's uh, get heal bay value. With the boarding drone with these three guys. Hopefully we'll never get boarded on anyway because of... Uh, defense drone doing good work. This guy's got a freaking combat 2 drone. Okay, not, cannot cloak this. We just shot down the drone. That's cool. This guy's dodging like a mofo. Okay, cloak now. Come on, man. These freaking dodges. Evasion 30%, man. Come on, kill Clone Bay. That's fine. Uh, repair, please. What did we get a repair from? Did we get a repair from getting to the base? Jesus, fucking repairs, man. I mean, dodges. 
Give me a goddamn break. Good. All right, there's a couple crew kills. That's what I want to see. Uh, if I can get another crew killer to here, that would be great. Oh, d -d -d double kill! Beautiful. Very nice. Double kill right on those guys right at the end. Beautiful. What is their dodge? 30%, which equals 500%. Because math. Okay, 20 scrap gets us uh, actually lower cost on things. Nothing low enough for 20 scrap. Okay. All right, so dealing with borders should be not too bad. The problem is we might have to fight this final phase in a solar flare if we get unlucky, I think. Did they die? I think so, but you know what? Yeah, yeah, it looks like they did. Okay, it's... At least it's not a half power thing. That's fine. The defense drone do anything here? Yeah, shoot down some missiles. Where do they board? Down here. Uh, actually, no. I want to. I want. I don't want them ever to even get in here. So let's do this. I need to kill the drone control because their crazy drones are insane in this this fight. Modded version of this fight. Okay. Let's get them all at the same time lined up. Okay, this is good timing here. Cloak. Perfect. If we dealt with all the borders, maybe, hopefully. Maybe, hopefully, maybe, maybe. Set on fire, it's actually not on fire, so I think we do that, it's fine. Okay, drone control is down. Put that. Okay. Uh, we randomly killed all this crew accidentally. Okay, love it when I accidentally turn them into an auto ship. GG cookie time, the hi Hayabusa. Did I, did I spell, did I put that in there? Actually, I didn't put this down, so. The, how do you spell that? Shogun? Is that what it was actually called? Uh, the Shogun. Hayabusa A, I guess. All right. Uh, what was that score? 57.45, not bad. Yeah, I just, I feel like I enjoy Insurrection more if I play with the new weapons, swap out my choice of using hacking with just use drone control. Because drone control has been buffed all to hell compared to hacking that's been nerfed. So, so how do you spell that? That's right. When I play no pause, do I unbind pause? Yes. Ye mukund, I do unbind pause. And if you want to know how to do that, um, I can't show you here. Uh, if you go to options, press a key, and then like make it J, and then make this J. Now toggle pause is off. So that's how you unbind it completely. But my friends, that's going to do it for me. We've been going for about five and a half hours. Um, three fun runs today. Thank you to uh, Mr. Keys, RPG Nerdos, and Slow Rider. For those ships today next week i will be getting in probably some new ships from different people and i have a lot of different people to get ships in from uh so <laughs> we have viewer ships forever uh but as usual thank you for all support hope you had a good time if there's anybody new to the stream hope you get the follow come join us again um we had a lot of gifted subs and sub new subs and primes today so i really appreciate all the support couldn't do it without you awesome people tomorrow I'll play some ftl harma no pause of course and i'm sure i will be salty as usual, y'all have a great night. Peace out, happy gaming, and I will see you all next time. Later, my friends. Y'all rock.